Hey, well, let's see my five dollars, no questions asked. What is that? Why? What'd you do? It's on the ceiling! I need someone to take the fall. Mm, make it 20. How'd it get in the printer? What's Done. going on here? You're a good friend. <laughs> I got it, Mr. <laughs> Sal! Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Penn News. I'm Stone Allen. And I'm Maddie Barber. We hope that you had a wonderful weekend, and now we have a five-day week to look forward to. Remember, candy grams are on sale this week. You can pay for them in person or with Cash App. Look on the William Penn High School website for the link. Candy grams will be delivered on Halloween during Block 8. Are you interested in winter cheer? Trials will be held in Gym 1 on October 31st through November 2nd from 2 to 5 p.m. You must attend all three days and have a physical on file. Horror movies are always big in the theaters at home during this time of the year. With such iconic characters such as Michael Myers, Jason, and Freddy Krueger, we hit the halls to find out who you think is the best horror movie villain. Hi, my name is Elena Davis. I'm going to be walking around the halls today asking staff and students their favorite horror movie villains. Mr. Jensen. I'm Melissa Davies. My name is Mr. Jones. And today I'm going to be asking him his favorite horror movie villain. So what is your favorite horror movie villain? My favorite horror movie villain is Freddy Krueger. And uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street. My favorite horror movie villain is the Lady in the Lake from Bly Manor. Great choice. After a soggy weekend, the temperatures are starting to drop as the leaves change color. Our own Anna is outside with the weather forecast. Hi, my name is Anna Chigari with this week's center. Today is going to be mostly cloudy with the highest of 61, and tomorrow the weather is quite the same with the highest of 64. The rest of the week is going to be mostly sunshine, but on Friday and Saturday we might get a little bit of rain. And the highest are going to be in the higher part of the 60s. Thank you for your attention. Back to the studio. Thanks, Anna. Meanwhile, in national news, the House of Representatives still has not selected a new Speaker of the House. Almost two weeks ago, California Rep Kevin McCarthy vacated the position, and only one vote has happened since then. There is speculation that this could lead to a government shutdown. This means that government employees will go without pay until the government funding is approved. Now on the sports, the football team will be back on the road this Friday night against Middletown. Cross Country will have a tri-meet with Odessa High School and Newark will also be there participating. Field Hockey will look to get over 500 as they take on Ursuline at home and Wednesday they will be on the road against Christiana. Boys Soccer will play their last home game Tuesday against St. George's. Girls Volleyball will be on the road this week with games against St. George's and Conrad. Now on for the shoutouts. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to give a shout out to Kyla Moore for always putting a smile on my face. And I'd like to give a shout out to Ms. Hutchinson. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day, Colonials, and go, go Penguin! Win. Hi, I'm Elena Davis, and I'm Elena Davis. <laughs> and today I'm going to be asking Elena what her favorite horror movie villain is. So, Elena, what is your favorite horror movie villain? My favorite horror movie villain is Jason from Friday the 13th because my birthday is April the 13th.